Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today, I want to talk about this. I'm bipolar and I came off my medication. And I was stable for years until I wasn't stable anymore. Let's chat. I, w I was diagnosed bipolar at age 13 and I was put on medication. As time progressed we seen the community team when I was discharged from hospital. When I was about 15, my psychiatrist said I could give, if I, I could decrease my medications, come off it. And I did. And people are probably thinking, didn't you relapse straight away? Didn't you like, start experiencing symptoms again? And the answer is no, not straight away anyway. I was 15 at the time, and by the time I, when I was 19, I relapsed. My mental health became a problem. The truth is, I need medication to be stable. And that's hard to live with because I would love nothing more than to come off all my meds but I just can't function in society without them. My meds saved my life, twice. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. In 2017 in 2017, I had a major relapse in my mental health. Now for those of you who don't know, I was diagnosed with bipolar at age 13 after a severe manic and psychotic episode. And I was, I was medicated, but around the age of 15, I came off my meds and I was stable. That was until 2017. Now I'm 26 now and I feel like I'm out the other end. But for from 2017 till last year, or even this year, I can 100% say that I was really struggling with my mental health. In fact, more so when I moved to London. Because I was so far away from my family, it really affected me. Because me and my grandparents are really close. Like I said, I said this before in videos, we FaceTime every night. And if she, if she doesn't answer, I panic and I worry that something's happened. But yeah, I relapsed with my mental health. It started out as just self-harm and suicide attempts, but then it progressed into psychosis and suicidal thoughts and self-harm. For me, this relapse that I had was something that really impacted me. So when I was living in London, I got sectioned about a week after I moved in. And the admission only lasted three days, so it wasn't a major, major thing, but I got put on a 136, I got take, taken to a ward on a section two. They took my phone off me, which still angers me to this day. All I did was take a picture of mice to send to my friend to prove that it was in you. It was horrible there. Some wards are funny, you know. Some wards literally let me have a camera in my room. I'm wearing a jumper. It's cold. Again. And it's going to be hot next week, so. The UK weather is as unpredictable as me. <laughs> But anyway, my relapse. I think the reason I relapsed was because I came off my medication. 
you know, it might have seemed like a good idea at the time, but not so much in the long term. I mean, it literally took for me to have a nervous breakdown for me to be able to for me to be able to access the support that I needed. And that was me on a section three in a private hospital where they sorted my meds out, increased the haloperidol to 10 milligrams to stop the psychosis as much as you can, changed my antidepressant, started me on lithium, put me on a lot of clonazepam, a bit too much clonazepam. Yeah, my relapse was bad. I was constantly relapsing for six years? Seven years? I think it's seven years now. And to be in a position that I'm in now, I'm grateful. The truth is, I need medication to be stable. And that's hard to live with because I would love nothing more than to come off all my meds but I just can't function in society without them. My meds saved my life, twice. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.